Hello everyone, welcome to eLearning Nuggets channel. I have started this channel uh, as a part it, uh, to impart some learning. This chapter, Overview of Computers, is the first chapter in first PU uh, computer science uh, syllabus. So here we are going to just look at the basic introduction to computers, some basic terms like hardware, software, operating system and types of software. So let us start our uh, lessons. Nowadays world we don't need an introduction to computers and many of you know what computers do but this gives you a proper definitions of all the terms that we are keep regularly using. Um, here, what is a computer? See in simple terms computer is an electronic machine, a machine which is going to do what? It is going to solve the problems that you give to it. Yes, but here we are giving one uh, formal definition for this. A computer is an electronic machine which accepts data as input, process that particular data as the form of programs and gives the desired results as output. So this is a definition of a computer or in simple terms you can say that a computer is an electronic machine which is used to solve arithmetic and logical problems. What do I mean by arithmetic problems? Arithmetic problems are those problems which involve arithmetic calculation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. And what is logical problems? Logical problems are where you need to take a decision based on some conditions. So your computer is able to solve all these problems. Next we talk about some of the terms related to, uh, related to computer. So the terms related to computers are hardware. Hardware is the physical parts of the computer which you touch and see. Okay, which you touch, see and feel is known as hardware. For example, I am having, having a mouse here. Yes, this mouse is a hardware. It is a, uh, it is something which I can touch and feel. Here I am having a mic, this is a hardware. So all the parts of the computer which we can touch and feel is known as hardware. Next we talk about software. What is a software? A software is a set of instructions. A computer is made up of electronic parts. It is containing electronic parts. That's what I told it is hardware. So what we can just do with the hardware? We need to give some instructions to the computer. So these instructions or commands which we give to the computer is known as software. Now the computer will understand only machine language. Machine language means it can understand only zeros and once. So we need to write these commands into a language the computer understands. So the language which the computer understands is known as programming language. Now we come to the term another term called as software. So what is software? A set of programs is known as software. So I have given some example here like calculator software. That means for example if I am going to have let us say I want to I have a program which does the basic uh, arithmetic calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now these four uh, programs can be written individually and they can group be grouped together and you can call them as software. This is just a simple example it is. I mean you have more complex programs which is done outside in the real world but just to, for your understanding I am telling you. So if I am going to have a four programs like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division each of it will be a set of instructions and then I group all these instructions I can name it as calculator software. So you have MS Office software. This I think most of you will be aware of. MS Office contains uh, MS Word, MS Excel, MS uh, Access okay, and MS Outlook. So there are many uh, softwares which are contained in this particular package. So MS Office software is actually it's known as a package suite because it contains all related software, uh, software related to office work. Another important type of software, another important software it is, it is known as an operating system. So operating system is also a software. Now what did I say a software is? It is a set of instructions or commands. But an operating system is a system software. What do I mean by a system software? Okay, a system software is one which a system, the word system means computer. So system software means 
it is going to do something with your machine okay so a system software acts as an interface between the computer and user so example we can have i mean the moment you open your computer if it is a windows 10 you know that that windows 10 is loading it shows that windows 10 screen or windows 7 screen so that is the operating system which is getting on first so now so system software which acts as an interface the word interface means medium okay medium between the computer and the user so if you see this particular picture here you have the hardware operating system application is the application programs for example your um, calculator program your paint program all these are the application programs which you see the icons which you see on the desktop and then the user so if the user has to interact with the computer and with the hardware he needs an operating system here i have listed some of the operating systems you can see here linux ubuntu mac os chrome os blackberry tablet os android os ios etc now some of the other useful terms that we use when you are talking about computers is end user end user is a person okay that a software program or hardware device is designed for that means if i am going to use use the computer and i need to let us say i need to do some excel sheets then ms excel is designed for me to work on so if i want to do some financial calculations i will go for excel if i want to uh, type my resume or uh, do some documentation i will go for ms word so another important uh, two terms are used one is called data and another is called information see raw facts and figures are known as data so our computer i mean all the computers that is working now the main task of it is data processing so the what is data data is raw facts and figures so what do i mean by facts and figures facts and figures means all the characters text numbers symbols are all data okay for example here i have given here meeta first puc commerce now if i give first meeta first puc commerce it may mean anything it may mean that meeta is in first pu she is studying commerce stream it may also mean meeta is not in first pu she is not in commerce it may also mean meeta is in first pu she is working in the commerce department so it doesn't you without with the raw facts you really don't know what that particular fact mean if i want to know what exactly that data means then it has to be processed process means it has to be changed okay it has to be changed into meaningful data so that meaningful data is known as information so process data or meaningful data is known as information for example if you see here meeta is studying in first puc she has opted for commerce stream so now these words which was just as words or data there has been converted into something meaningful yes and so you know that okay this is something related to meeta she is in first pu and she is studying in commerce stream so but in our uh, day to day life these two words are used interchangeably that is many of us use the word data for information and information for data it is like uh, colloquial languages where we say bangalore and bengaluru yes it means the same yes but in in your uh, uh, official things we have to write it as bengaluru because the name is changed to bengaluru i can't write it as bangalore which was there earlier so here it is used interchangeably next we talks about types of software see software is broadly classified into two types system software and application software so system software is again divided into operating systems and uh, your uh, operating systems language translators and utility software there are three types here operating system i already told you it's a system software which acts as an interface between the hardware and the user some examples are windows 10 and dos and what about language translators language translators are used when you want to process the low level language uh, the process the high level language into low level language okay so there are three types of processors assemblers compilers and interpreters assemblers are used when you want to convert the assembly level language into machine level language compilers are used when you want to convert the high level language into machine level language so high level language like c c++ java python cannot uh, uh, sorry not python c c++ java are all 
they all use the compiler and they are those languages what they do is they are going to be converted to machine level language why because your computer understands only zeros and ones that is machine level language so the job of the compiler is to take this particular code the code written by the programmer which is known as source code and it converts it into the machine level language so in this process what happens it may find some errors so it takes the whole program let us say your source code contains 10 lines of code so it takes all the 10 lines of code and checks for errors and suppose there are some three four errors the errors has to be corrected program has to be recompiled and then only without the errors the program can be converted into machine level language then what is interpreter interpreter also does the same job it also converts the high level language into machine level language but an interpreter works in a different way it works line by line so line by line means once i give a command and if it finds an error in that particular command it immediately shows the error saying there is an error we cannot go proceed further you need to correct this and then only you can move forward so that is the difference between the compiler and interpreter the next uh, type of uh, software uh, system software is utility software see utility softwares are designed for the system purpose that means when you when your computer needs some kind of uh, extra features to be added to it then we use the system software for example we have the disk defragmenter so it helps you to rearrange the disk block of disk in the memory so that lot of uh, you memory space is not occupied and the disk space is not occupied and you are getting more space in the disk uh, it may be randomly placed okay data might be randomly placed inside the disk so disk defragmenter helps you to put these data in blocks so that you have more disk space virus scanner you have an antivirus uh, scanner which helps you to remove the virus in your computer and what is file compressor so some uh, compressor utilities like winzip 7zip okay uh, this help you to reduce the size of the file so if you want to take your file uh, in your pen drive you want to copy it in your pen drive you want it to be in a smaller size then you use a file compressor now we'll coming to application software application software is again divided into ready-made software and customized software ready-made software is readily available in the market the name itself says you this software is readily available in the market you just need to purchase it and install it in your computer for example ms office adobe acrobat acrobat okay photoshop uh, adobe photoshop all this is actually it comes in the adobe um, uh, softwares and then customized software is one which is actually the programmer's skill is seen where the uh, the they ask you to write this particular software for example library management school management system hospital management system where the uh, the customers are given the the customers give you the specifications and you as a pro programmer has to write the program depending on the technology and the computer language used and you need to give it to them so that is customized software one simple example i can take is ready-made software is what is readily available so for example if um, nowadays you know that dosa butter is available everywhere yes so it's readily available so you are just going to the shop buying the dosa batter and you are making your dosa at home whereas in customized software what happens you are making it at home like you are soaking the dals and grinding it and according to your proportion and taste you are able to make the uh, particular uh, dish whatever you want to do like that here also this is the ma major difference between ready-made and customized software so let me tell you briefly about this uh, hardware is physical parts of the computer software is the instructions given to the computer the programs are all the group of programs comprised of software operating system acts as an interface between hardware and software and types of software they are divided into system software and application software system software is made up of operating systems 
language translators and utility softwares and application software is made up of ready-made software and customized software hope you have understood all these terms as far as your first view is concerned they may ask you for one mark the what is the definition of hardware what's the definition of software what is an operating system all this comes for one mark questions thank you for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe